Hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Yonder the Cloudcatcher Chronicles. I don't really know m too much about this game. Um, huh, that's interesting. Okay, there we go. Huh. Okay, there we go. My controller was not working initially. Okay, new game. Oh, Jesus, I get to be a weird donut man. Well, maybe the donut man? I don't know. Doughboy. That'll be it. So what What can we be? I can have blue hair. Can I get like a beard? Can, oh, body size. Okay, so we can be... A real donut man. Oh. Okay, so kind of like manly proportions. Oh, jeez. There we go. Real man's man. Sadly, can't change my hair color. We could also go feet... Huh. We can be a very manly woman. Why is the hair color blue? I don't know. I am in a weird funk. I'm not... I was. I don't think I was quite ready for the... Uh, I, was, I don't think I was quite ready for that face. I've seen other parts of this game, but definitely not uh, this part. Okay. Actually, I haven't barely seen anything for this. Just, uh, one of my fans was like, Hey, by the way, this game looks adorable, and I'm like, sure. Our dearest child, it broke our hearts when we sent you away, but it was the only way to keep you safe from the darkness that poisoned our land. When the day comes that you seek the truth, trust in the celestial compass to guide you. It will lead you far across the sea, into darkness and into light, but it will always lead you home. Which is, by the way, dark. Good luck. Home to Gamea. Jamea? It's actually a really nicely modeled boat. Can I have the boat for a face? It seems like a good idea. Um... Oh, that's not part of the cutscene. I was like, what is my character doing? Okay, talk to Jib the Sailor. This is amazing. I thought Jamea was made was a made-up tale. I'm glad it came up from the kitchen to see this. Hmm. Looks like your compass is pointing into that bank of fog. That's pretty thick. I'd best get up to the bell. Radio. Uh attack the sailor. So the legend is true, there really is an island kingdom. I wonder if we'll see any strange new creatures. Ooh. That compass of yours is right! Gamea should be just behind that bag of fog. Are you ready to finally see the island? Yes. Oh. Better shorten the sail, it's getting a bit rough. I mean, do I have to do anything here? Do I have a button for shortening the sail? I have a button for jump overboard. This isn't looking good. Throw down the sea anchor. Hold on, matey. You don't want to get thrown overboard but like yesterday's too. Maybe I do! No. Invisible walls seem to prevent my passage. It'd be great if I could actually glitch out of the boat. Oh, well, there we go. I was going to say it'd be great if I could glitch out of the boat and just drown. Fear not, Sprite Seer. You and your friends are safe. You will see them again. But first, you have a great task ahead of you. I am Eri, once a proud protector of these lands. I have been waiting for you. Please, may I see your compass? Open compass. Guiding light. Guiding light. Gotcha. As I thought, a celestial compass. Use it whenever you are lost. It will guide you truly, but for now your path is blocked. My family can help you, but they themselves are lost. Find them, and they will lead you home. Now, Sprite Seer, awaken. Your journey has only begun. Ah, who's peeing? Oh, okay. Nature. Well, boat's dead. R.I.P. boat. You're okay. I don't know if you actually had an interior. Probably not. I guess I just slept on the mast. Can I attack? Okay, I can't do anything here. I got a weird wiggly backpack. Oh, hello, I can pick up a rock. 
And I have discovered stone. I'm regular modern day Magellan. Or future modern sort of not quite day Magellan? Okay. I'm just going to assume I did not get to all uh, wash myself a whole lot on the uh, on the boat. Yep. Mm. Feeling clean. Nice. And more clean. Actually, this could be salt water. I could be pickling myself. Well, that's vinegar. Uh, brining myself. That's the word. Seriously, though, I look like a play mode beal, dude. It's a little odd. <laughs> okay, well, let's go check out this blue, blue glow. Woo! A human. It's been a long time since I've talked to a human. Of all the people who could have, who could have, oh, all the people who could talk to me have gone away. Please take me with you. I don't want to be alone anymore. Okay, so I have a Lumi. And I have more stone. Yes. I wonder if I'm limited on the amount of stone that I can grab. I have no idea. I'm just going to pack mule the uh, heck out of this game. It's going to be like stones, mushrooms, uh, small people, large people, dragons. Uh, fairies, pixies, evil miasma. The way out is just past the mark. It's bad stuff for you humans, though. I'll try and get rid of it, but I'm not sure if I can do it alone. Ooh, that was hard. I wish I had my brothers and sisters to help me out. We work together. I think we can find them. Oh, if we work together, I think we can find them. Yay. Off I go. Okay, this is actually legitimately quite, quite pretty. I have no idea what kind of game this is. I saw like two screenshots and then I asked for the press copy. Oh, there's a village over there. Let's go check it out. You really aren't looking the best. I bet we can find some help there. Remember, if we get lost, you can use your celestial compass. It's useful to map out your travels too. Anyway, let's head over to the village. Okay, so we got a map. We got a compass. Compass makes sense. We. <gasps> oh! I have an umbrella. I have a float umbrella. That's that's great, actually. Okay. Well, it looks like there's exploration. It looks like there's. Honestly, I'd almost claim this is a Zelda like. Oh. I've discovered sticks. The first man to discover wood. Yes. Next up, fire. After that, arson. After that, Crime. I got a spotted brown cat. I have just kidnapped a cat. I am just... I am discovering everything. So, it looks like this is kind of like a weird collect-a-thon thing. Well, I'm gonna go mur uh, murder. Uh, I'm going to go uh, bother this, this weird goat ram thing. Yak? I've discovered a groffle. Hello, groffle. It's like a guinea pig. Stop. Okay, I guess it just wants to rub its butt on my face. I wanted to, like, hug it hug it or something. Okay, fine. Well, I guess we're going this direction anyway. Let us herd the grovel into town. With our face. Seriously, th this is actually really adorable. I almost... I hoped for a second this was going to be a monster collection RPG, but it doesn't look quite look like it. Oh, hello, Traveler. You look like you've been through some hard times. Please come inside. I can offer you some warm food and a soft bed. The townsfolk warmly welcome you. <laughs> Once your belly is full and your worries are eased, your head tilts, uh, hits the soft pillow and you drift to sleep. Ha. There. That's much better. Petter, you look ready to face the world again. Just one more thing before you go. Ever since that terrible accident years ago, Burke's been popping up all over the place and making life difficult. But the people here are friendly, and we love to share what we know. Ask around, and you'll s soon have the skills you need to make your way in the world. <laughs> Old men are the best. What the... What the baby-faced man? Oh. That storm that capsized your boat. It also destroyed the East Docks. Now that's a big yeah. problem for us. This is a trade guild, you see. 
Without the East Docks bringing in goods, we're not in any position to help you out. Let's see here. Take this mallet and gather some stone for Marina. Eight times stone should be plenty to prop the East Docks back oh. up. We do it ourselves, but we haven't discovered the stuff yet. You need to find stone around the grasslands near cliffs. Once you've got enough, deliver them back to the marina on the beach. I also cannot move from my location. What do you have? Stick, seeds, more seeds, axe, trap, sickle, fishing pole, pickaxe. I was gonna get real upset if they, uh, if they secretly had, um... <laughs> I can trade my clothes. Uh, oh! Oh, I see. They gave me their clothes. Wait, was I wearing this before? I just, I have no idea. Uh, but yeah, I was gonna be kind of upset if those merchants had stone that you could trade for. And it's like, you fix it yourself! Mm. Oh, hi. I heard there was a new face in town, so if you want to learn the ways yeah. of the trader, eh? Well, it's not all swapping stuff or other things, you know? A trader has oh. to get creative, too. Here, go grab me a vine and three times stick, and I'll share a trade secret with you. I do it myself, huh. but I don't know what those things actually are. Alright, so you got those things like, I, uh, I, oh, so those things I got you to grab, I, actually for me, they're for you. Oh. I don't know what to do with them. As well as making trade deals you can craft items to trade crafted items generally trade for a higher uh. price which is nice here's the recipe to craft a bundle of sticks with those items you grabbed just remember you need a recipe for the correct items to craft quest complete making a bundle bye dude see you later okay next person it's a small child creature what? or an old man uh old man old woman i hear you're in need of a roof over your head well you're in luck the old farm in the south field was abandoned when the murk appeared. If you can clear the murk, you're welcome to the farm. Love to see the old place patched up and running again. Take this axe and gather some materials to fix the place up. Sixteen times wood and five times sticks should be plenty. Farms in the south field through the big tunnel. You can't miss it. I... I will uh, warn you guys uh, going into this. Whenever I have to, like, voice characters, it's kind of an experiment with me of what kind of dumb voices I can come up with. What's this old man want? You, you can find Sly McWiley just on the ridge near the beach. That was not what I was looking for. Maybe it has something to do with this uh, tower? I don't know. Whatever. Doesn't look like we got anything else around here, so I'm just gonna wander around and see what we got. So we need wood, we need sticks, we need sprites, we need a lot of things. But that's okay. Alright, can I... cool. How do I do this? Axe. Tw no. Oh, I can craft. I've made a bundle of sticks. Cool. So this is crafting. Ah, here, here we are. Oh, there we are. I had to, uh... I had to... Kind of equip it. Okay, you have discovered wood. Yes. Yes, I have. Alright, so we've got pickup, we've got a mallet. Oh, to smash boulders. I just got finished playing Albion Online. I feel like my life is just going to be a, uh, one long string of, uh, Collectathon resource gathering games now. Though I have to admit, this is actually looking a little bit more uh, positive just because it's a single player experience and it looks like the grinding is a little bit more focused. Can I mallet you? No, I can't mallet the thing the thing I'm gonna do. Oh, that's okay. I hope there isn't a combat system in this game. I don't think it will be. I think it will be more kind of like uh, puzzling and crafting and a couple other things. Okay, can't get you, but I can get this. We've got whatever is glowing over here. Oh, it's like a hut. Okay, can I smash the barrels? Oh, so I can. I've discovered lead ore. Oh, sweet. Next up, lead poisoning. Yeah. Can I go swimming? <laughs> okay. That was not what I was expecting would happen. I was expecting we'd like swim or float or something, but no. You walk in and then your character's just like, huh, drowning. 
And then it happens. Well, I can't. I'm not going to question anything too much. I'm going to make fun of it, kind of mercilessly, but I'm not going to question it too hard. Oh, it's you're, you're not a boulder. I don't think I'm going to get rocks by smashing you with a... with an anything. Oh, that's okay. I came with a fair bit of extra boulders. Not that I'm actually... Oh, wait. You can destroy the stumps. Good to know. I will have to start doing that, maybe. Oh, I see. We want to just grab that. I don't really know how much uh, spare resources I need here. I assume trees regrow on a, on a daily basis, maybe. Clear Merc. Okay, so we need six sprites to get that going. So effectively, the poor people of this town... I've discovered a grass fox! Okay, seriously, dude. I'm kind of operating under the, uh, wish that this game was a, uh, monster collection RPG on top of everything. I guess I'll have to wait until... Is it Re-Legend? I think it's Re-Legend. So my bet is there's a sprite right next to the, uh... Nope. So we gotta start finding some sprites here. Maybe there's some up the hill. Let's try going up the hill first, just because there are a couple of question marks here. Seems promising. Nope, instead there's this lady. Oh, well, there might be something on top of that. Have you seen my groffles? There's Princess Sparkle, Fluffykins, and Mr. Peabody. They're such sneaky whittle groffies. We were all ready for our daily dress-up morning tea, and then they vanished. I just know you'll help. Fluffykins will be the most scared. You'll find a trail of bows leading right to her. <laughs> Can I just be a hermit? Oh, hello. I am going to operate under the assumption that I have no means of dealing with this. Yeah, so it looks like this might actually involve more farming. Like farming and exploration, which I'm actually super down for. Uh, kind of like a, a cross between... Uh, Zelda... maybe? Ish? And proper exploration is actually kind of a cool combination. This is cool. Oh, I need that hammer to break this. We got an old kingdom coin! Yeah, we need some kind of pickaxe to deal with that stuff. So are these the Groffies? Doesn't look like it. Okay, there's something about this section here. Oh, maybe up, up on top now that I'm looking at it. What is this? Oh, can be planted. Let's leave that alone for a bit. Okay, I'm gonna see what's up here. We got another cave. Oh, is this the cave that I came out of? This is the cave I came out of. Yep, so it is. I love the fact that we've got a slow, slow fall umbrella. But yeah, let's go back up. See if there's any sprites. Select one in my compass. Okay. Yeah, problem is, I simply have no idea where any of the sprites are, so I guess we're just going to have to wander around semi-endlessly until we actually find what we're looking for. I am really digging this, though. This is really chill. Uh, I wish the NPCs had different heads. Like, literally, that's the only thing I think I can com I can possibly complain about. Alright, let's see what's up with this sign. A good spot for a suspension bridge. Oh, I see. So by collecting stuff, we actually get our, uh, we actually can access, uh, new places to go. That's cool. Yeah, I like that. Uh, a, kind of like a, a 3D environment to explore, but by, uh, 
But by gathering resources and whatnot, we get more places to explore. Uh, let's check the map. So, Sage Stone, repair the farm, lovely creatures. It's probably a sprite in there. The region is suffering. Oh, interesting. So, by in uh, by clearing this out, we actually get a... Uh, we get, like, resource bonuses and stuff. I dig it. The 24-hour clock looks really nice. Uh, can you imagine if this just had monster collection thrown in? Maybe it does. Maybe it does. Maybe it's something that we unlock slightly. Yeah. I'm a hiccup machine right now. So it doesn't look like I can do anything with the sage stone right now. I can, like, kind of awkwardly climb on it, but it looks like it's uh, locked away. <laughs> At least for a little while. A little while. Okay, well, I guess I'm just going to start nabbing these things. It's just... Oh! It's the remains of a worn diary. The murk is just too thick. We've had to close the farm. Although we're retiring, I hope one day it'll open again. Okay, we discovered coal. Bunch of goodies here and there. Still no sprite, though. Because I don't think I can, uh... I don't think I can revive... I don't think I can revive the farm until I get one more. Oh, there's like a castle town over here. Who wants to bet that it's, uh, creepy and inaccessible right now? Oh, I wonder if we get a, uh... I wonder if we get a sprite for report repairing the docks. Now that I'm thinking about it. We found a fabbit. I will admit the way they're animating does not exactly inspire confidence that they're going to be a uh, uh, catchable. But that's okay. I'm just going to wander around forever. Hopefully the uh, the calendar years don't matter that much. So what's up with this town? We're in Boffentoff. Oh. Can I just straight up buy a house? Or, oh. It seems like forever since I last talked with a human. This is wonderful. Let's get moving. There's so much to see and do. Okay, well, we've got ourselves uh, that. But I also can maybe get a house? Maybe not immediately. I'm gonna wander around for a bit. At least we know how to find, uh... At least we know how to find, uh, spirits in the world. Looking for mortar and leather strips. If you, uh, bring them to me, I will reward you. I'll pick it up. Hopefully it's not timed, because I don't even know how to do those things. And we've got some more miasma to deal with, and mineable things. So, I guess we have more people to talk to. Oh. Hello. Most interesting of travelers, allow me to introduce myself. I'm Lion Mane Joss, guildmaster of the most glorious guild, the Tailor's Guild. We are captains of cloth. We are the heralds of high fashion. Our products are highly tradable, you know. Oh. To enter our greatest of guilds, you must know the basics mm. of our craft. Bring me one haberdashery and one cloth, then I'll show you wonders. I've discovered blue dye. Sweet. Well, I mean, honestly, I've done nothing, but that's okay. Huh? Thank you for helping me out. I need all the items posted on the board. Okay. Well, I guess we already got that. Uh, there's something about a house, maybe? Or maybe that's like going... I don't know. One way or another, we got the uh, sprite we're looking for. So let's go back and get the farm running. I wonder if I can fast travel. Oh, that would be wonderful, actually. Needle and thread, trader, a couple other things. Oh, wait, hold on. So there's regions. Grasslands, Heartwind Vale. Interesting. Okay. Well, 
things to look at. I'm just I'm just appreciating this right now. This is really pretty. Except for the main character. <laughs> I I'm sorry if devs if you're watching this. It's just they look like weird Playmobil people. Could I have not just been one of these weird creatures that would have been so cool? Wee. I don't know. I should stop judging books by covers and people by their ugly faces. It's uh it's not a nice thing to do. Oh, there's some people on the beach there. Maybe I should probably go take a look at that. I keep pressing select for the map. There's also something here. I don't know. Well, let's repair the farm first, and then we'll go check that out. I can also repair the bridge. Which might... Yeah, that's something we want to do probably immediately. Mainly, I just got the resources for it now. And I might as well do it now and grind... Oh. I don't know, whatever. Who are you, and why are you outside my my farm? I'm sure we'll be able to cover that up. Zoop. Yep, I own a shithole now, but that's okay. Bushel. Ah. Oh, hey there. I'm Bushel. Minnie sent me to help mm -hmm. you out. I'm a dab hand at repairs, and I know a thing or two about running a farm. Now that you've cleared the murk, let's roll up our sleeves and patch this place up. Okay, so we have resident farmhand, none. Animal care, zero. Farm cleanliness, 25%. Six star, five stars. Was curious about that for a second. Value produced, nothing. You are poor as dirt. Congratulations, you have your very own farm. There are lots of things you can do with the farm. Here, I'll give you some farm items. Let's get you started by placing a large animal ah. pen. Once you've crafted the large animal pen, use the big book on your farm to place the pen wherever you'd like. Oh, Jesus. It's a giant chest thing. Items produced are stored here for you to collect. Okay, so they're kind of doing the... Oh, hey, there's a uh, there's a sprite in the uh, in here. Hey, kid, I had a perfectly good thing going here, and you came along and ruined it. Well, guess there's no going back to that pigsty now. Well, let's get a move on, youngster. Yay. Okay. And these are backpack and storage. Do, yeah, we probably have to worry about inventory space. Well, how do we, how do we do the anythings here? Well, it doesn't look like I can make these here. Okay, so we have a large animal pen. Oh, I see the book over here. Okay, so we can rotate it. Well, I guess I might as well have them all facing inwards, sort of. Okay, cool. So I can pick them up and move them whenever I want. So that's handy. What else do we got? A fodder trough and a water trough. I could just, like, kind of jam them up in here. I'm not sure if that's something I'm going to have to worry about. Hmm. Do we want to... Do we want to do that, or do I want to figure out a better setup than this? Maybe... Let's pick this up. Put it right here. Same thing with this one. At least for the time being. Oh. I see. Ah. I'm... I keep pressing Y. Because that's what I'm used to. 
for, uh, like, pulling up my inventory in games like this. And that's not right. And it's confusing me. Okay, fine. I guess what I'm gonna do is just, uh... Grab my, my fodder and my water troughs. And just kind of line them up like so. I'm sure I'll probably want to have like a different setup for later. But considering these are the only things that I actually even own, I don't care too much. Okay, so that gives us kind of a, a decent lineup. And then I can get crops on the other side-ish. Alright, let's talk to him. Well done. Now that you've placed a large animal pen, you can begin to adopt large animals. Once you're ready, come and see me again and I'll teach you how to do that. Oh. Groffles are the best. They're big, brown grazing animals you'll find in the fields near here. Besides being big and fluffy, if domesticated, they'll produce groffel milk yeah. for us. You can befriend animals by feeding them their favorite food. Feed groffel psyllium seed, and it'll happily follow you for a time. Here, I'll show you how to make psyllium seed. And you go out there and bing, bring us back a big, fluffy groffel. Okay, so now we know how to make uh, psyllium seeds. Sort of. Whoa. That's weird. There's kind of like a surround sound effect to the rain, but depending on the angle you're going from... Yeah, this is why the Y is confusing, because Y is literally how you bring up the inventory in this game. Okay, psyllium seeds. So, stone and psyllium flowers. Well... I might as well make a bunch. Cooked fish. Twine. Well, I guess, speaking of, let's go over and fix up that bridge. I don't know if it matters much. But I might as well do it while we're here. I like the fact that there is weather in this game. Like, this is actually pretty solid. Oh, that was fast. Just bleh. We are a wizard constructor. But yes, let's let's find a groffle. You look like a wet groffle. Do we have some seeds? Are these mycelium seeds? No, these are. Oh, oh I see. Maybe not. Okay, Groffle seems interested. Okay, so I don't even have to pull it up. Come, Groffle. You will now exist on my farm. Well, I guess it is a monster collection game, just not in the, uh... Not in the way that I expected. They move adorably. I really like this. I don't think it's gonna be quite as deep as Stardew Valley, but I think I might also... I might almost like it better, because it's a bit more objective-based. And, uh... It just feels... Right. So do I want to adopt the Groffle? Yes! Wow, that's a fluffy Groffle. We can now make Groffle milk. So check in from time to time and collect the goods we're producing. I'll be here to look after any animals you adopt. But it's a good idea to put some food and water. Put in some food, oh, put in some food and water to keep it happy. Don't forget, if you want to build your farm more, you'll need the help of a carpenter. Okay, so we've befriended a groffle. Now, how do I put in food? Interact. Okay. Large animal pen has groffle. Okay. Go on journey. It makes the cow flippy can noises. Okay, well, I think all I have to do is just toss in groffel seeds, yeah? Or psyllium seeds. Okay, there we go. I wonder if I can plant plants or if I actually have to go out to those um, specific locations. 
It'd be nice if I could actually, you know, farm, but I think we're uh, out of luck on those. Let's check the bo big book of maybe building things. Nope. Okay, he have anything new to say? Being a farmhand is wonderful. Oh, hires a farmhand. Mm. Oh, nice. I love mushroom. Oh. Thanks. I really like mm -hmm. it. Nothing beats mushroom. I love it. Oh. Mushroom for me. Thank you. You're a weird dude. Okay, uh, let's pull up the map. Okay, so those little farming locations aren't that useful. So we've still got a couple of things here. Right. Let's see if I can get the east docks rolling again. On uh, the next episode, actually. So I'll see you guys in the next episode of Yonder. I don't even remember the second half of the title because it was long. Um, but I'm actually rather enjoying this game. It's I, It reminds me of Stardew Valley, but with the... Uh, look like I can plant stuff here. Maybe I can eventually, but it's it's got like kind of a weird growing thing. Oh, I wonder if I could get a fox. I wonder if I can have fox farm. I don't even know what that would entail. Well, anyway, yeah, I'm really, really enjoying this game. It reminds me of Stardew Valley, but like with a completely different twist. Uh, just, you know, kind of the, the farm management, whatever stuff. I guess Harvest Moon uh, would be the, the basis for it. Um... But it's really endearing, and the music is good, the visuals are great. Uh, and the gameplay is, well, simple. It doesn't need to be any more advanced than this, as far as I can tell. Maybe maybe a little bit more um, uh, freedom from the beginning. I like that in Stardew, where it's just like, well, here you go, good luck. And I liked that. But at the same time, I can appreciate this too. So one way or another, uh, I should really get going. So I will see you guys in the next episode of Yonder. If you guys like this episode in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like, helps more than you know. And if you want to see more, uh, hit subscribe, because I'm going to aim to do, maybe not like a full, full series on this. It really depends. When I say full, full, I mean like, I don't think I'm going to hundo, hundo this game, just because it looks like there's a lot of secrets that I'm going to have to probably uh, churn through. But I'm going to make an honest attempt to find as many things as I possibly can. So, now with all that out of the way, I'll see you guys in the next episode of Yonder. And as always, thanks for watching.